Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and this is a 60-year-old male who presents to the orthopedic surgeon with just nonspecific ankle pain for about a month or even less than a month, and we see that they have something abnormal in here. This is the sinus tarsi, which is this cupped area below the talus and above the calcaneus here, and so normally we'd see fat in here and some ligaments. We have the cervical ligament that goes forward. We have a talocalcanal interosseous ligament that goes this direction, but we don't really see those ligaments very well because it's just socked in with this gray tissue. And we see the gray tissue, we think about a synovial inflammatory process. You can have a varix, which would just be a big dilated vein in there. You can have a synovial cyst, which would be more fluid. And when it's just gray and socked in, we think about just synovial inflammation. So it looks like there's some synovial inflammatory process. There's some little scalloping of the calcaneus and talus here. So it looks like there's some chronic erosion, more of a long-standing process. If we go out laterally, it goes out, but uh, nothing goes into the soft tissues. Now we're going to go medially. If we keep going medially, we see the gray tissue goes into the posterior subtalar joint. It's hard to tell if that's just fluid or extension of this process. If we keep going medially, we see the gray tissue continue. And then if we come out the medial joint, we see this big tumor fact of component looks like it is continuous with this inflammation within the sinus tarsi. So it looks like a really extensive inflammatory process, a synovial inflammatory process, chronically eroding bone. Now we're going to look at another view here, a coronal T1 weighted image. Now this one's uh, very nice. We can see a couple things. Incidentally, it looks like they have an old ununited fracture here, the fibula. Here's the tibia. Here's that sinus tarsi socked in with this process. And we can see the continuity coming over here immediately. A bone erosion of the calcaneus, and this is adjacent to the middle subtalar joint. And then here we see this big tumor factor of crazy looking process here. So let's look on another view. Let's do an axial view here. Now we can see in the axial view, get our bearing straight here is the sinus tarsi. Here's this big process over here. And this is in the region of the tarsal tunnel. So again, sinus tarsi is over here. This is the tarsal tunnel. So the uh, vessels are over here and the tibial nerve is over here. And these little bitty dots here represent the neurovascular structures of the tarsal tunnel. So the tarsal tunnel sits right here. So this process goes backwards between the flexor digitorum, flexor halysis, and pushes on, it fills the tarsal tunnel and pushes on these um, neurovascular structures. Now in the T2-weighted sequences, it looks pretty crazy, really complex with some cystic components. Almost looks like a really complex synovial cyst or a synovial neoplasm, is what it looks like there in that view. But in this patient, they're older, 60, so they're older than you expect for synovial neoplasm. And because it involves the sinus tarsi here and it's continuous, goes into the tarsal tunnel, and because there are chronic erosive changes in the bone, it looks more like a synovial inflammatory process. And because it's a male and because it's this big tumor factor thing, I believe this is going to end up being gout, especially with that bone erosion here. We note down here that there's some atrophy of the muscles and edema, and this may be related to compression of that tibial nerve that goes through the tarsal tunnel. And that's it. So just a big, extensive uh, process. Again, I suspect this is going to end up being gouty arthritis with a big tophus. And um, that's it. Thank you very much.